All right, before we begin, I have a comic book I made. You can't see it because I don't have a camera. But trust me on this, it's a good comic book. Before I start, because I don't want to hear this, this down, I'm just going to tell it to you. It's a comic book from uh, Octavia's point of view. I'm, I'm not really good at doing a female voice, so work from here. So I'll just do my original Alice in Blue voice, and you tell me, uh, you tell me on table what do you think of this story. <clears throat> oh, what's the matter, dear? What's the matter, what's the matter my dear? I had a falling out with Charlie again. Oh, whatever for? I don't want to talk about it. Octavia. I'm always here for you. No, I've always been here for you. I've been here since this whole started. She's been busy these past few months. These past few months, making her hotel look delightful. Why don't you come with me and join? You'll be the belle of the ball. I don't want to go. Ah, I see. I understand. I will leave you to you yourself. Grabs my hand. Alistair. Hmm? Don't leave me here on my own, please. Is it your father? After my father cheated on my mother with Blitzy, my life hasn't been the same since. But didn't you have a fun time? <clears throat> but didn't you have a fun time in Lululand? I had a fun time. It was okay, I guess. Oh? It's just my dad's embarrassing. And we all know that Blitzy doesn't love my father. I love my father very much. What we did to my mom was horrible. All the cheating on the lies and the deception. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, we don't cry. Listen, I'm here for you. I'm always going to be here for you. You've made me feel welcome in this place. I hate being here in hell. Do you hate me? No, 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 dear Octavia. I love you. Ooh. I like you. You've always been a good friend. Oh, Alistair, come on. You know I'm not just your friend. I've always loved you. Ever since you like laid eyes on you. Ever since you, ever since you saved me from the... Uh, ever since it happened. You were surrounded by a bunch of evil, evil angels, and they were ready to destroy you. I'm not much of a fighter like my brother, but I wasn't going to let you perish. Not by those brute hands of the angels. Alistair, tell me something. Do you like Charlie? <laughs> Do I like Charlie? Uh, no, of course not. I don't like Charlie. Charlie's my friend in this universe. Besides, she's... He's, she's taken by Vaggy, of all creatures. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I think Vaggy's a great character. Oh, what about Angel does? Ah, oh, me and Angel see eye to eye from time, but it's not really my thing, you know. Is it because it's it's nothing to be? It's not because he's a stripper or a porn star or anything like that. I like him for who he is. It doesn't, that doesn't bother me. It's just that I found somebody else after the incident. Oh, I see. I wish you luck with your, whoever she is, grabs out her face and says, Octavia, it's you. What? It's always been you, Octavia. Ever since you invited me to the Christmas ball last year, ever since we danced together and I had that small soup of mine, and we talked about each other's feelings. I've always cared for you, Octavia. You are so close to my heart. If anything happened to you, don't say another word. No, listen to me. Octavia, if anything happened to you, I would never forgive myself. I, I would not be able to live without you in my world. Oh my God. Octavia, I love you. And I have always loved you. Me... Angel is just a fling here and now and then. And me and... We have a few laughs, but it's nothing special. I see. This... Angel I know about this? Oh, for heaven's sakes, me and Angel broke up months ago. We're done with. Over. Kaput. Finished. Try to go on? No. You shouldn't always cry, Octavia. I know your father's going for a rough time with Blitzy and your mother. But he still loves you. You're still his shining star. 
Aw. It was so nice of you. I know. I try. <laughs> you always make me laugh. Even you've always been there for me, when, even when I needed you the most, Alistair. May I ask why? I, because it's the right thing. I'm not like my brother. I don't see myself as conquering worlds and gallons of blood on his hand. Ugh. I'm not that kind of demon. I don't kill the demons for this fun of it or the thrill of the hunt. I do it to protect the people I have around me. Me and Sir Princess? Well, we came here together. We're friends, me and him. And am I just your friend or. Shh! Octavia. You like this rose I have in my hand? What do you mean? Explain yourself. I mean, you're beautiful to look at. But you can be very deadly in your own way. But when I touch the top of this flower, it's like I feel connected to you in a way. <gasps> Alistair, are you in love with me? I've always been in love with you, Octavia. I know I'm seeing it again, but I have. Octavia, you are my old world. And I love you very. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I shouldn't have done it. No, it's it's quite all right. It it caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting to kiss me so soon. I was expecting to lead up to the kiss. Listen, Octavia, I it might that you kiss me first. I do. But you should just go to the party, having a good time with Charlie. She's your best and dearest friend. You've had it falling out, sure. But she's still your friend. I shall. Thank you again. My little blueberry muffin. Blueberry muffin? Oh, come on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Octavia. I'm speechless. A second kiss. What's going into you? I don't know. It's, I guess it's the red wine, but you look great today. Thank you. I tried to impress, you know. Blue tuxedo, blue hat. I got a new man. Could you like it? I think it looks great on you. I think it like... Father Dashi. <laughs> Dashi. Um, uh, Octavia, you haven't let go of my hand since I started talking to you. I don't want to let go of you, Alistair. I love you. And I always love you. Should we just... Should we go to the party? No. Let's just, let's just sit here and enjoy this moment together, okay? I'll tell Charlie that I had a trouble putting on my makeup. Well, you don't really need it. You're beautiful as the way you are. Thank you. And just as they sit up and look on the sunset, they Octavia and Alistair have realized that they are truly happy to be continued. And it's a good continue because I, I basically just lost, you know, I didn't have enough time to write the rest of the rest of the comic book, but it's just it was just a good moment between the two characters just to you know bond to get into bond. That's all I wanted to say about that. <laughs>